the chord progression, a very typical flamenco rumba chord progression would be a descending progression of D minor to C. Then you can go to B flat. You may like to put B flat seven in there. And then A or A7. You'll notice that for the A major chord, I added this ring finger right here to create a very tense chord that is an, it's really an A7 with a flat nine. The next versions of these chords would be this bar chord up here, barring at the fifth fret. You play that, and then you can decorate it with that note on top. All right, two frets above where you're barring. Next, we could play C7. Again, I'm decorating. Okay, and then we get to this. Same idea. Or you may like to decorate on the inner strings. And then you get to A. finger style tricks like that in my finger style course. Now when we start to put this together, really good to take it slow. These are brand new coordinations for many of us. I hope you're enjoying yourself. Appreciate you watching, especially something that's a little more challenging like this. And if you're sick and tired of uh, one minute videos that kind of take you nowhere, appreciate you spending a little extra time. There really are no shortcuts to any place worth going, right? Two, three, four. chord I play a bit more advanced. It's a D minor six. I'm fretting at the fourth fret and I have a little bar across those three strings. Are you still watching? Did you click away? Man, if you're still here, I appreciate you being here. Now as we pick up the tempo, you'll practice your way into this tempo. Wonderful just to first hang with the muted strings. a bit more advanced, adding things like hammer-ons, notes with the bar. First step, of course, just go back to those first eight strokes. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Then the accents, ba, ba, ba. Remember, accents are only as powerful as how quiet is everything else that you're playing. So don't play everything hard. Make the other strokes light. And then just hang out with the muted strings. You can make a wonderful practice routine, uh, very effective. Just play it four times in a row. That's it. And the reason why I'm suggesting that you just repeat a couple of times is so you Just practice stacking small successes on top of one another. It's, it, even if it's just this slow. That is worth more than a hundred times of incorrect motions, right? What we practice and the way we practice is how our music is gonna manifest in the world. So just be patient and you'll see. Drop by drop, if we're patient, our bucket gets filled stacking small successes on top of one another. If you're still watching all the way to the very end, thanks very much. Leave a comment down below, say hi, and let's practice this together one more time.
ready? Now a little faster. Eventually. All right. On a dark desert highway, two wind in my head. All right, there's a lot of cool songs you can play with this wonderful rumba flamenco strum. Thanks for watching. If you love strum and ukulele, check this video out. I think you'll really enjoy that rhythm as well. Appreciate you watching. I'll see you in another video soon. Thank you.